70 miles south of the city of Los Angeles, among the fertile citrus groves of the California coast, lies the small historic mission of San Juan Capistrano. In the spring, visitors come from around the world to walk among the ruins of a time gone by and to witness the return of San Juan swallows to their northern migratory home. It's an ageless place of peace, tranquility, and repose. Yet not far from the mission, secluded among the nearby hills, is another historic site. A place dedicated not to the past, but to the future. Here in this 2,700-acre facility, TRW has built an advanced field test laboratory for the continuing development of some of the more advanced scientific concepts of our time. Like its mission neighbor, the Capistrano test site has witnessed many historical events, events that are still shaping the progress of our most advanced technological accomplishments. Rocket engines developed and tested at CTS have played an important role in man's conquest of space and provided a rich harvest of combustion technology. This established base of propulsion experience is now being applied to other endeavors with new goals in sight. It forms the cornerstone of TRW's Thrust for Tomorrow. The development and testing of advanced combustion systems has been a primary part of CTS activities since its inception. In this extensive complex of facilities, TRW conducts a great number of diversified research and development programs. These major test areas are fully equipped for continuing propulsion system development and qualification, sophisticated laser research and testing, advanced chemical process investigations, and proof testing energy and environmental systems. A master control center for computerized acquisition and reduction of test data from all areas is equipped to operate online for tests requiring immediate results or for control input to the system under test. An independent data acquisition system housed in the control center of the high energy testing complex can be linked to the main control room for additional support in test operations. The hills surrounding CTS provide a natural protection for a variety of other related test activities. Propagation sites are available for ranging laser systems. Explosive characteristics of various gases are evaluated. The burning of unconstrained fuel is examined. And the operation of ammunition and ordnance is verified on a 1,000 meter range. A natural outgrowth of TRW's combustion experience is the development of high energy chemical lasers. Using existing vacuum systems at CTS, TRW first developed the baseline demonstration laser. Now, the Capistrano test site is involved in testing a wide variety of laser systems. Through these programs, TRW is exploring the many possibilities of this rapidly expanding technology. In addition, the wealth of combustion and chemical experience gained by TRW at CTS is being used to confront some of the most pressing energy and environmental concerns of today. For example, the coaxial injector for TRW's lunar descent engine 
has been adapted to TRW's low NOx burner systems. By controlling various injection parameters during the combustion process, these oil or natural gas burners significantly reduce the formation of nitrogen oxide pollutants. With power capabilities ranging up to the 1,000 megawatt region, low NOx burners have been sized to meet both the large utility boiler and the small package boiler requirements of the power generating industry. Another contribution to a cleaner environment comes from TRW's expertise in electric propulsion. These systems make use of electrically accelerated charged droplets to generate thrust. The same technology is employed in TRW's charged droplet scrubber, a flue gas cleaning system for the removal of fine particulates and mists from industrial stack emissions. Now, under contract to the Environmental Protection Agency, the charged droplet scrubber has been installed in a major California industrial plant. It has proven to be very effective in removing pollutants that would otherwise be released into the atmosphere. TRW also maintains several advanced chemical laboratories for the investigation and analysis of complex chemical phenomena. Here, research into new materials technology and advanced chemical processes are carried out in highly sophisticated laboratory settings. In order to gather and evaluate data relative to the effect of conventional burner emissions on the environment, TRW has built and equipped two mobile sampling and analysis laboratories. Under an EPA contract, the vans will conduct research at more than 150 locations within the continental United States. Samples of air, water, and solid waste will be gathered and subjected to detailed and complex analysis. At the Capistrano Chemical Lab, new processes are escalated to bench scale levels for the development of procedures and techniques leading to pilot plant operations. Advanced chemical concepts are studied for production feasibility and some products, such as nitrogen trifluoride for laser research, are manufactured. The chemical process parameters developed here are directly applicable to large-scale production operations. For example, TRW's combustion and chemical expertise is leading to better utilization of our most abundant source of energy, coal. Several innovative chemical processes developed by TRW show considerable potential for allowing an increased use of coal while retaining the quality of an equally important resource, clean air. In 1970, even before widespread recognition of our energy needs, TRW initiated bench scale testing for the removal and reclamation of coal's most significant pollutant, sulfur. These tests led to the construction of a pilot plant capable of processing over eight tons of coal a day. This practical demonstration of our direct coal desulfurization process not only proves its feasibility, but it also makes processed coal available for large-scale experimentation. It has been estimated that this process can improve the environmental acceptability of nearly 97% of U.S. coal reserves. TRW has also developed an innovative chemical method for economical production of synthetic natural gas from low-grade coal-fired producer gases. The process, called beacon, chemically extracts the combustible portion of the producer gas, 
and concentrates the combustible portion by conversion to industrial or pipeline quality methane. This pilot plant at CTS will be used to develop the process for industrial and pipeline applications. TRW is also developing a method for the application of coal to highly efficient magnetohydrodynamic power generation. The coal combustor used to deliver high temperature electrically conducted gases employs the same combustion and plasma technologies developed for man-rated rocket engines and chemical laser systems. The recognition of the changing needs of our society and the use of our experience to meet those needs are the hallmarks of TRW's business operations. Whether it be adapting combustion science to new technologies or developing new ways to meet our energy and environmental requirements, TRW, its experienced team, and the Capistrano test site will continue to provide the thrust for tomorrow.